Hi, I am RK. We are going to discuss Latin square design. Consider an experiment in any area. Let there be four different treatments in the experiment. That means an experiment consists of uh, different factors at different levels. A particular experiment with uh, factors at a particular level is called a treatment. So there are four treatments X, Y, uh, Z and W. W, X, Y, Z. There are four treatments there. These different treatments will produce different yields. We do not know. It may or it may not differ. We need to know as much information as possible from the experiment. From all these experiments. We need planning for this. This is called DOE. Design of experiments. How are you going to conduct the, uh, the trials? That is, keep the treatment and then find out the results. We divide the field into four blocks. See block 1, each column is a block. Block 2, block 3, block 4. And assign the treatment say W, X, Y or Z to each cell in the block at random. Each block you can keep it at random. right? Because each block gets all the four treatments here. Now here it is not. So it is completely randomized design. And LS, uh, uh, M means, Latin square model means each treatment will take part in this block. Right? Purpose of randomization is to eliminate the sources of error in the field. Examples of experimental design. See, completely randomized design, that is what we saw in the previous slide. Randomized block design. Latin square design, that is what we are going to see today. Factorial design. And in all these designs, what is the null hypothesis? There is no significant difference between the columns, that is groups. There is no significant difference between the rows, that is treatments. We need to control the error or variability. What do you mean by variability? The deviations from the mean. There are two sources of errors or variability at the same time. One is between the groups and between the rows. See here, the uh, treatment W occurs in the same block. Therefore, this is completely randomized design. The difference in rows, the difference in columns are the two sources of errors. The errors here could be due to changes in the characteristics of the system there. It is therefore desirable that each treatment should occur once in each row and once in each column. Not like this. Right? So that is shown here. So X, Y, W and Z. So X, Y, W and Z. So X, Y, W and Z. Here also X, Y, W and Z. So this arrangement is called Latin square. This is called Latin square design. In Latin square design, there must be option 1, as many replications as there are treatments. Option 2, as many replications as possible with no limits. And uh, the correct answer is option 1, as many replications as there are treatments. See here, there are 4 treatments, 4 repetitions. A occurs here, here, here and here. So 1, 2, 3 and 4. So replications are 4. Experimental area is divided into plots arranged in a square in such a manner that option 1, there are as many plots in each row as there are in each column. Uh, option 2, the number of plots in each row is equal to the number of treatments. Option 3, all the above. The correct answer is option 3, all the above. Because there are as many plots in each row as there are in each column. Right? Okay. Each row, there is only one treatment here, A. And similarly, in each column, there is only one treatment, A, here. The number of plots in each row is equal to the number of treatments. Number of treatments is 4. So, number of plots in each row is 4. In Latin square, plots are assigned to various treatments such that, option 1, every treatment occurs only once in each row. Option 2, every treatment occurs only once in each column. Option 3, all the above. The correct answer is both option 1 and option 2 are correct. Therefore, option 3 is the correct answer. In Latin square of nth order, option 1, there will be n rows and n columns. Yes. Option 2, there will be n treatments. Yes. Option 3, each treatment will appear n times. Yes. Option 4, all the above. Since all the options are correct, therefore the correct answer is option 4, all the above. In Latin square design, we can remove from the analysis of data option 1. The effect of a factor which is irrelevant. Option 2, the effect of a factor which is not significant. Option 3, the effect of a factor which you are not interested. 
but which may be significant option 4 all the above the correct answer is option 4 all the above important assumptions made in the latin square model is that option 1 interactions between row and column groupings are non existent option 2 interactions between row and column groupings are existent the correct answer is option 1 attraction between row and column groupings are non existent right? so option 1 is the correct answer we will see an example now so analyze the following results of a latin square experiment so the treatments and the yields are given here a b c d are the treatments and the numbers within the bracket are the yields for the corresponding treatment right in this plot a treatment is used and 12 units of output is obtained Similarly, for all the cells, output is given. The observations, right? As per the experiment, the yield is given. A, B, C, D denote the treatments and the figures in the bracket denote observations. That is the yield. So, this is the data. And we have arranged this in this format because block 1, 2, 3 and 4. See here, this is A12, B12 and then C16 and then D18. Likewise, we have arranged. And we can find out the average and then subtract the average uh, from the observations 12 minus 15 uh, minus 3 like that. So and here it is uh, uh, what is this here 20 minus 15 5 and 16 minus 15 is 1 and 10 minus 15 is minus 5. This is as per the experiments and this is modified arrangement. Right? So I will take you to the excel sheet and then explain you. See here, this is a problem. Uh, the yield for each treatment is given here. Treatment A, 12 units. Treatment D, 18 units. Treatment B, 12 units. Treatment C, 16 units. This is rearranged here. Rearrange the yield here. 12, 12, 16, 18. As you can get it from this, for this block. And uh, you can also get this uh, uh, simplified va values so that we don't have to uh, calculate with big values, big numbers. So, 15, 12 minus 15 is minus 3 and 14 minus 15 is minus 1 15 minus 15 is 0 13 minus 15 is minus 2 here and for uh, the experiments as done I am doing the same thing 15 minus 12 is uh, 12 minus 15 is minus 3 and then here 20 minus 15 is plus 5 and 15 minus 16 is 16 minus 15 is 1 and then 10 minus 15 is minus 5 so for this also we are finding out and for this also we are finding out the sum of the squares and then uh, see here the addition of all this is minus 2, minus 5 minus 3 is minus 8, plus 6 is minus 2 and the square of this is 4 divided by number of uh, readings is 4, so 4 by 4 is 1. Similarly for this the summation is minus 3, minus 3 whole squared is 9, 9 by 4 is 2.25. Here the summation is minus 1, square is 1, 1 by 4 is 0.25. And similarly here it is 2 square 4 by 4 is 1. If you add all this you get 4.5. Similarly for the columns we are adding all these things and we get uh, 3.5. I have to subtract uh, 1 as a correction factor. I will show you how the correction factor is obtained. See here. See here. This, the same. Uh, this is shown here. This one is shown here as a problem and then order of uh, latin square is uh, 4 because 4 by 4 grand total is minus 4 i am adding all these things you will get minus 4 and then count is 16 and correction factor is minus 4 whole square divided by count that is 16 by 16 is 1 and sum of squares individual observation that is square of everything minus 3 whole square plus minus 1 whole square like this add all these things and you will get 158 and then total sum of squares is the sum of the squares uh, of the individual observations minus the correction factors 158 minus 1 is 157 and sum of squares for rows is 4.5 minus 1 3.5 sum of squares for columns is 3.5 minus 1 as I showed you in the previous uh, this thing here so 4.5 3.5 or nothing but the cj squared by 4 and then r2 squared by 4 these are just notations how I calculated I have explained and sum of squares for treatment is 145.5 where is this here 145.5 minus 1 minus the correction factor 144.5 
sum of the squares for residuals is 6.5 that is remove all this from the total 157 157 minus 3.5 minus 2.5 minus 144.5 is 6.5 and this is given in this uh, format here for the rows sum of squares is 3.5 for the columns it is 2.5 for the treatments it is 144.5 and for the residuals it is 6.5 and degree of freedom you know four columns and four rooms are there therefore three and three here and then uh, total uh, degree of freedom is three and degree of freedom for the uh, error is again six here okay and uh, msr is you have to divide 3.5 by 3 1.17 2.5 by 3 is 0.83 sst is 144.5 by 3 is 48.17 and SSE is sum of squares for errors right? is 1.08. Your value is calculated using this formula. I will show it to you in the Excel sheet. In the PowerPoint, I will show you how it is obtained. This is nothing but uh, 1.17 divided by 1.08. Right? Likewise, you are calculating. And corresponding to this F value, uh, for the degree of freedom, you find the P value. The P value is more, therefore, fail to reject p value is here also it is more so fail to reject p value is less than 0 0.05 therefore reject the null therefore there is a significant difference between the treatments there is no significant difference between the rows and no difference between the columns so this is a conclusion this is how you do this latin square uh, design i'll go back see here this is how we are calculating and the results are given here for columns, p-value is obtained, it is uh, greater than 0.05, for rows is greater than 0.05, for treatments it is less than 0.05, therefore the readings, uh, the, the p-values are uh, used to take a decision and based on the decision, the conclusions are given here. Okay. Now we will answer the quiz. For this problem, option 1, there is no significant difference between the rows. Option 2, there is significant difference between the rows. The correct answer is option 1, there is no significant difference between the rows because p value is greater than 0 0.05. The second quiz, option 1, there is no significant difference between the columns. Option 2, there is significant difference between the columns. Obviously, the answer is option 1, there is no significant difference between the columns because p value is greater than 0 0.05. The third one, Option 1, there is no significant difference between the treatments. Option 2, there is significant difference between the treatments. Obviously, the correct answer is option 2 because p-value is less than 0 0.05. Therefore, there is a significant difference between the treatments. I think that completes uh, the session on LSD, um, Latin Square Design. Thank you very much.